body sharing with one another, brothers and sisters sharing with one another, let it be so in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We see in Ephesians 2 verse 3. <laughs> Ephesians 2 verse 10. 10. We are God's creation. Workmanship. Created. In Christ Jesus. To do. Oh. To name. To do. The good works that God has prepared for us. Amen. In advance. To do. Hallelujah. So we have good ideas. We have good works uh, from God. Prepared by Him. And uh, the whole idea would be according to Hebrews 6. That the foundations laid in our life, one of the, the first foundations to be repentance from dead works. Repentance from all the nice ideas that we thought of doing, of all the stuff that we thought is very good and it's for the Lord. But God was not in it because He didn't plan that specific thing at that specific time to happen. And so many times in our lives we are discouraged, we try a lot of things, and go full out with a lot of things and we think it's going to work out and then it doesn't work out that many times because uh, it's something planned by God but in the right, in the wrong timing. Hello? The right thing, wrong timing, wrong place. And to get all those stuff together. One of the, the keys would be, God, why did you plan for me for today? So if a father, if you have respect for your father, you love your father, and your father comes to you and says, My son, I have prepared for you something to do for today. If you have any form of respect for him, you will say, What? What is he, Dad? Why did you prepare for me for today to do? Hello? And then that will be your question. And that is basically the question to be asked when we write day words. God, what did you plan for me for this week, for this year? Give me an idea of what you planned for me for every day ahead. My brother, my sister, if you say, no, I've done day words, but it didn't work out for me. Um, yeah, some Christians that are serving the devil now also say that. I tried Christianity, it didn't work out for me. It sounds like a bad example. Comparison. All I'm just saying is, that's not logical. So, I stay with the word. And if God has challenged us as a congregation to say, push to know what did God plan for you ahead, then let's go with it. Let's go with it. And if some days my day where it does not work out, so what? I'm learning. Yeah. I'm practicing. I'm growing. Yeah. True? Yeah, I Can we go with that, please? Yeah. So, um, let's not get smart religiously wise in that sense. But as a church, as a, as a family, let's draw in unity into a direction for breakthroughs. Amen. 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 May God help you. And may you walk in the good works that God has prepared for you. And uh, see more of Him every day. Hallelujah. Okay, so I'm just going to go and have a few day words from you guys to be shared. So you can raise your hand and you can share your day with. And then we're going to share it here because I believe God wants to speak to the body. Amen. Through the body day so it's gonna be so um, you can start and some of you guys if you take too long I will tell you that you want to share your day with hallelujah so just you can just start anybody you start with who um, it just says his glory to shine in me and through me his glory to shine, to shine in me, in me and through me. You believe that God's beauty will shine in you yeah. and through you? 
look at yourself in the mirror today, tonight, and say, God, your beauty will shine through my life, and I thank you for that in Jesus' name. Yeah. Let's say, God's beauty, God's beauty will shine through my life, through my and, people will see it, and people will see it, and they will be drawn unto Him. Yeah. Amen. 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 Let it be so. Let it be so in Jesus' name. Let Him be the focus. We take that as a word for us today in Jesus' name. Next one. Next David. Come, 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 come. Um, my David today is Mason. Breakthrough needed. Seven times like Jericho. Mason. Yeah, Mason is a, a word that means home or family or place. Home, family, place. Yeah. Breakthrough needed. Seven, seven times like Jericho. I will re energize. Okay, that is a, there's a lot. All right, the first one, uh, let's try. I don't get such a lot. Um, <clears throat> but this is Emma. Okay, so first of all, the family, there's a focus on the family. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And breakthrough is needed. Breakthrough is needed. We take breakthrough in the family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever breakthrough you need today for the family of God, for your life and your life in the family, we take it with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, amen. 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 Let it be so in Jesus' name. Yes? And then seven times like Jericho. Seven times like Jericho. Definitely a word for you, not for us. <laughs> seven times like Jericho. Go around your situation but all the way all the way moan and groan and moan and groan huh. praise the lord and praise the lord okay next time in your head when you think you must go around the thing again and you want to mope again or you want to moan again or you know doing that thing again just think, no, the only thing that will go like this is I will always praise the Lord. Let's say, that. I will always praise the Lord. Come over again. In the three, I will always praise the Lord. Now say, Papa Pete. Okay. You with me? Let it be so. And he says, I will re energize. Amen. You take that? In Jesus' name? You need that? Miku? Don't say. Don't say. Don't say. Say hello. Preek samen met mij. Als je samen met mij preek, dan maak je slo. And the scripture with that is Genesis 16. Genesis 16. Where um, Sarah gives Hagar to Abraham to, and then Ishmael is born. Um, so I was personally challenged on the way to strategy. Um, for the breakthrough, are you just going with your own strategy, or are you really going with God's strategy of like the seven times around Jericho? Mm -hmm. For me personally, it was challenging me on home and family. Am I going according to my strategy and how I think it should work, or am I going according to God's strategy, even if it doesn't make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, amen. May God help you, help me, that we will follow His strategy in Jesus' name. Yeah. Great. Next one. There is atmosphere of praise. Atmosphere of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There will be an atmosphere of praise around me. Not an atmosphere of negativity or depression or... Yeah. I mean, he says stupidity. No atmosphere of stupidity in Jesus' name around anybody. That doesn't sound good. Oh. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes. Anything? Any day word? Apart from me, you can do nothing. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the scripture in the Bible. You know that? Nothing. Apart from me, you can do nothing. nothing. That's according to Gideon 4 verse 5. Amen. Who said amen? There is no book such as Gideon. 
Lord have mercy. Okay, yeah, that's basically John 15 verse 5. Yeah, somewhere there. That's basically saying I make a choice and I say I can do nothing without Him. Nothing good can come from me except if it's from Him through me, I life. Amen. Yeah, that bring you in a place of honest humility. Let it be so. In Jesus' name. Right, somebody else. My diary for today is enter, enter the battles with praises of joy. Enter the battle with praises of joy. Amen. We, we, we're getting a message here, I think. Are you with me? So remember what you hear and go and work it through with God. Go and work it through with God. Yes, let it be so in Jesus' name. Okay, next one. Uh, my third is uh, transparency, clear clarity, and visibility. Uh, transparency, clarity, clarity, and visibility. visibility. And uh, scripture hmm. for it is Jude 1. Verse Jude 1. Yes. Um, Jude 1, verse 20, it says, But you, dear friends, building yourselves up in the most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So it just speaks about uh, what I just experienced is as we start to practice praying in spirit to build our spirit man, to see clearly what God wants to show, to have transparency, visibility, clarity. Mm. Yeah. So to build in the spirit, praying in the spirit, your inner man, make it strong. And from that place, let there be transparency, visibility, let it shine forth, let what is from God. Amen. Because the light shine forth from your spirit. Amen. Into your soul. Let it shine from your spirit into your soul because it can be a lot of mess, a lot of rubbish happening in your soul. No, I need God's light. God's light is like healing in my soul when I allow it to shine. We don't always like the light that is very um, exposing or very um, in your face. God's light is very in your face. don't know if you've realized that or seen that before in your life. Yes. I can lacquer, can lacquer in your gezicht kom, ne? But that's the place where there's healing, where there's total healing. Let it be so in Jesus' name for our lives. Amen. Anybody else? Hip hop faith. Hip hop faith. <laughs> I know you like hip hop, you know. That's a good. Leave. Leave our faith. Okay. Leave our faith. Does anybody need a faith step today? That is when you don't feel like it. You don't necessarily want to take that. You don't see how it's going to work out. You don't know if according to the facts and your feelings that everything is going to work out. But you're going to honor God by making that decision right now there where you sit. You know, sitting here, that there's a step of faith that you need to take. In spite of what you see, feel or think. And as you make that decision now, your decision actually is just to honor Him. That's your decision. Because God is pleased by faith. And by faith, you overcome the world. So you overcome the world right now, at this moment, right now, by making that choice in faith. You see how you step over the world? And you step into the place of honoring Him, pleasing Him. He's pleased by faith. Amen. Righteous. Please walk by faith. Amen. Let it be so in Jesus' name. Yes. My David for today is learn. And the scripture just came up is uh, Romans 1 verse 17. It says that in this we understand God's righteousness from faith to faith. Um, so just learning from faith to faith. And faith is not faith unless it's tested. So you yeah. know the proof will of God and the, the righteousness by faith and understanding, okay, maybe step out and you saw this work in this heaven, so by yeah. faith we understand what God does and how He, he works and things like that. And that's how we understand His righteousness is from faith to faith. So just learn from step to step to step to step. 
Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Macht es zu Werk. Macht es zu Werk. In Jesus' name. Halleluja. Anybody else? I'm going to start to pick. Focus, sorry. Focus on your function. Uh, so this God has given us each a function. Uh, we have placed us um, to focus on that. And then there's the scripture, 1 Corinthians 12, verse 11, where it says, And all these are the work of one and the same spirit, and it gives him to each just as he becomes. So just to focus on what God has put in you in the time. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And with the whole concept, not just the concept of focus, the principle of focus. Focus has to do with what? What do you worship? You focus on what you worship. If you want to see what you worship, you think of what do you think upon the most? If it's how you look in the mirror, then uh, <clears throat> maybe you must stop worshiping yourself. Hello. But what people think about you, how right you are, or how wrong that guy is, you can worship your right to be right. You can worship your right to be right. Uh, but I don't know if you will find God there. You will not find the Holy Spirit anointing there. Not at all. When you start to focus on your right to be right. Um, I think we have one right. That is Christ Jesus. So, um, I can boast in the cross. Um, except for the cross, I have nothing to boast upon. Amen. Because He is my righteousness. My righteousness is my right standing before the Father is in Christ Jesus. So where I go, I have one place where I can stand and that is the place where I stand in Christ. Christ in me and me in Christ. That is the greatest honor that you have. That you can stand in the name of the Lord. You can stand in Him and He stands in you. Amen. Not stand on your own rights, of your opinion or whatever. But may God help you to be set free from yourself. Amen. To stand on Him and in Him alone. Hallelujah. May we see His heart. Great. Something else. Another one. Another day with. Tonight you declare your day with us here. Well. Can I go away? My own master, but so praise the Lord, Hallelujah! We are all dependent on the Lord, Hallelujah! Now that's good. Going, going. Is that what we have? David Wise, you've shared? Not yet? <laughs> it was a little bit soft? I'm also depending on the Lord right now. Are you also depending on the Lord right now? Hopefully everybody, but uh, good. Some must get some David right now. Um, yeah, the, the bridegroom-to-be, where are you? Oh, are you still alive today, after Friday evening? Still alive, okay. Your day word for today? Forgive them. <laughs> no bashing of what? No partiality. No partiality. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sure, sure. So you repented? Not yet. Not yet. God said no partiality and he says he didn't repent yet. Okay, he repents. Okay, he looks a little bit more holy. Okay, good. Hey God.
May God help us that we will uh, that we will see the things the way God sees it Amen. with one another. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. May God's grace rule over all. Yes. Anything? Anybody else? Daniel, geen dag wordt vandaag. Oké. Herman? Mijn woord verstaan. Stand firm in what you believe. Stand firm in what you believe. Oké. I think that's good. My question would be, what do you believe? My brother, my sister, when I hear words like that, stand firm in what you believe. There's many people that are standing very firm in what they believe and they will give their lives, they will let their children be slaughtered. Be slaughtered for what they believe. And think they're doing God a favor. What do you believe? Make sure what you believe. Because I, you can say, I don't have strong faith. No, you have faith. It's just in what direction do you put your faith? I have faith that I cannot do it right. Or I have faith, yes, that He will do it right in me and through my life. Uh, faith, you have faith. Even the people, they say we are atheists, um, we, we, we go by fact, not by faith. They actually, in a certain sense, I said to the one guy, you have more faith than what I have. Because to have the faith to believe that there is no God, you need a hell of a lot of faith to believe that there is no God. So you have more faith than me. The guy was a little bit, not, not so like a, <laughs> with the way I was. Yeah. Because by faith and by fact, there is such a lot of truth that you can put out there about God's existence. Amen. Um, what I'm saying is when you walk by faith, stand with what you believe in Him. What God is saying you're supposed to believe. Amen. So you have faith. But you will have the faith that will bring the curse on you. You will have the faith or you will die under the mountain or you will have the faith that God wants you to have and that faith according to Ephesians 2 verse 8 is called a gift from God it's a faith that you can have you can have the honor to believe what God says but to have that faith is a gift why? because the word was given to you for free the Spirit was given to you for free. Everything was given to you for free so that faith can be worked in your heart. And what is worked in your heart, when it rises up, you can just say, this is a gift. This is a gift. It's not my good, not how smart I can be. Not at all. It's God's Word. It's God's grace. It's God's Spirit. And all of that is from God, what He worked in me. And because of God and what He did, I can have faith. Because of what He has done. Amen. So don't put your faith with a performance. But just thank God that you have the faith. Amen. Thank God for the fact that you have faith. And that you have the opportunity and the privilege to have the correct type of faith that is coming from his hand as a gift. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 2 verse 8. Okay. Two verses before you find our verse for the day. Now, good. We are going for a landing, Miri. Okay, I need three scriptures more. Uh, uh, three day words. Three days going. Going. And then Gain. Gain. G A I A. Gain. 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 What, where will we find a scripture about that? I found something in Proverbs 1 verse 19. 
And it says, And it says what to you? No? Think? Anybody? Come in, you're for the other room. Now, I just tell you, maybe it says that you mustn't, you mustn't be greedy. No. So, it's, there's, there's two types of gain to gain wealth or to gain knowledge. Okay, it's a scripture that says to do this is great gain. What is that scripture? To die. To die is gain, but something is great gain. Who <laughs> <laughs> finds a wife? Yes. Contentment, uh, contentment, <coughs> great gain, great gain, contentment, but to be content with your wife is even more great gain, yes, um, <laughs> but when you find a wife, yes, 100%, also it's, it's excellent, marvelous, amen, okay, hallelujah, we have two scriptures to go, Daniel? Beautiful garden. Furniture in your garden. Beauty, beautiful furniture in your garden. Who's coming to visit you this afternoon? Oh. It could be a game, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to have a very serious service here. <laughs> okay. Okay, all I can say with that is what God made beautiful in the garden you take it you can make it even also so much more beautiful another wisdom hand of god and then are you with me that's a meal here we call mark whatever furniture you make let it be beautiful for the master amen, amen. I don't know if you remember what we have there at the top it's not like we didn't find space for a chair and a bench see the bench Near the top. But it's just a picture of you must have your time with God. Okay? So uh, maybe sometime in the nature, it's as if you are going to sit there and next to you on the chair next to you, God is sitting and you must have this lacquer conversation. So, like I said in the first service in this week, I challenge you to have an excellent fellowship time with God. Go and, go and, what is gesels in English? Chat, chat, it sounds a little bit. What? Converse. Converse. Okay, or you must come and converse. Or commune, you know? But, man to decide when you take the word to say god today i want us just to have a wonderful conversation just to have an excellent refreshing conversation can i call it that that you and god you had an excellent conversation and it was not a conversation so that something but conversation because to have fellowship with God and for Him to converse with you and you to converse with Him, that in it there is eternal life. John 17, 3, this is eternal life that they may know you and the one you have sent. Okay? And the knowing is a relationship knowing. It's the fact of when we are together, I can be, I can just be. There's life when we are together. 
when we communicate, when we share hearts, there's life. Let it not be so that more death come into the relationship when you start to speak, but you have a relationship actually with all your issues. And you bring all the issues before the Lord, but you, but you bring the issue before the Lord, but you have a relationship with your issue. The issue is alive in you. The poison is alive in you. And now you come and yes, the Lord, and you put it down before the Lord. Yes, Lord, thank you. In you. But the only thing living in you, even while praying, is this chamosh, this issue with that person, or this poison, or this whatever, or this depression, or this negativity, or whatever. Ah, kill those stuff. Kill those stuff in Jesus' name. Amen. Let he and his word be alive. In your relationship. Amen. When God speaks, it's life. When his heart is expressed, it's life. I bless you with that. That your relationship will be in such a way. That the life that you will allow in your relationship to flow will be from his heart and from his word. Amen. Amen. Let it be so, my brother. Really. In Jesus' name. Okay, give me the last one. Are we at the last one? No, second last one. Uh, my marriage says stay in. So from what I... Stay in. Stay in. Maybe you must not go to Green Bali. I don't know. Uh, or not go and catch some reptiles with our toes, you know, out in the, in the field. But stay in the only other thing you can say about the word is stay in the word stay in the word stay in love stay in forgiveness stay in the blood stay in the name of christ stay in what you've been taught the word says also mm. uh, what i just experienced from that is not to go out on your own understanding but to stay in life with the Lord. Amen. amen stay in it stay in god's wisdom but people, some stay in stubbornness. Not anymore. Stay in that thing. No, oh, let it go. Let it go today. Right now, where you're sitting right now. Let it go in Jesus' name. Let it go. And choose. As you sit there right now, make a decision. I will stay in what? Stay in forgiveness, love, truth. I will stay in God's opinion about me. I will not stay in what else. Right now as you sit there, you make that choice by faith in Jesus' name. It will work for you. You will have victory. As right now in Jesus' name you decide, I will not stay in negativity, yeah. bitterness, yeah. envy, fear fear of lack i will not stay in rejection i will not stay in the past i will not stay in the past experiences i will not be a product of my past finished in the mighty name of jesus that's that are you with me as was made my car father come and set us free to understand how to walk with you how to be with you thank you for your word God, I pray for every man, every woman here that they will have an excellent, excellent, excellent time with you in this week. Like never before, that they will have such a lot of special moments in your presence. They will be so arrested and shocked by your grace, your mercy, your love over them. That you've shown them through your blood in your Son on the cross. Uh, honor you for that. I thank you for that, Father, that you just come and you come and do that in our midst. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray for a release of your, of your voice from the spirit of every man and woman in this place. That they will live from their spirit, not from their soul, like a baboon. They will live from their spirit so that they will worship you in spirit and truth. As you are seeking those who will worship you in spirit and truth, Lord. 
God, here we are. God, you are looking for those who will worship you in spirit and truth. Here we are. By your grace and your mercy, you give us the capacity to be able to worship you in spirit and truth. That's our decision. That's what we stand on as we boast on your cross, in your cross. We thank you for that privilege, Lord. In Jesus' name. And I bless everyone here with an awesome, awesome week in your presence. In Jesus' name. As all say, Amen. 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 Amen.